Hello and uh, welcome to another video and in this one we're going to discuss something else which uh, comes up quite often on the forums and on Discord and that's how to uh, enable uh, spell tokens on a battle map uh, during combat or at any other time really and although we're specifically talking about uh, spell tokens uh, this same thing will apply to anything that you want to put onto the map uh, such as uh, furniture or uh, whatever so there's a couple of methods to achieve this and we'll show you uh, how to do both in this video. I think the first thing though is to determine where exactly your tokens and images are. And obviously um, they're all in assets uh, somewhere. But if these are your own tokens and images um, then you should be aware as to uh, exactly where you want to put them. And if we have a look at the Fantasy Grounds data folder um, there are a couple of places where these images and tokens can be found. Uh, and the first is in the top level directory here under the Smiteworks Fantasy Grounds. And there's a folder here called Images. And if we open that up, we see that we've got some uh, tokens in here. Um, and you can also find them in Tokens, uh, in the Tokens Shared folder. Uh, we've got some, uh, sorry, in the Tokens Host folder. Um, we've got some more in there. Now you can also put uh, images and tokens inside individual campaigns. So if we go to the uh, campaigns menu and then into the campaign that you're actually working on, um, you'll see that there's a folder here called images. And again, we've got a couple of images in here. And I've also created, and you need to do this if you want to put them here, you need to create this folder. It doesn't uh, automatically get made. Um, and I've got some more uh, tokens uh, in there. So there's a number of places where you might find these images and tokens, as well as, of course, in any modules uh, that you've purchased or any uh, anything else that you've uh, that you've bought, and that are actually in a module. But if you're just adding them to the folders yourself, that's where you'll find them. And the most useful place to put them really is the top level directory, because then they'll be available in any campaign if you put them in the uh, campaign folder itself uh, then it'll only be available or they will only be available in that one campaign so uh, I, I'd advise that you uh, put them in the images folder uh, and in the tokens host folder uh, in the top level of the fantasy grounds uh, f uh, data folder so having said that uh, let's uh, get a map up um, and we'll see uh, where we uh, go from there. So we've got a situation where our uh, wizard and ranger here have disturbed some monsters and the wizard has decided that uh, he wants to cast a spell um, and uh, catching all of the monsters uh, in said spell. Um, so of course we could just draw a circle or whatever to represent where the uh, spell is but if you wanted to use a token then uh, here's how or this is one method anyway. Uh, we need to unlock the uh, map and then we need to go to our assets uh, and then we need to find the, the token that we want. And when we open up the uh, assets uh, you'll see that we've got tokens and images. Um, so let's uh, go to images first and we'll show how that's done. And you can see here the first two folders are campaign and data. Uh, campaign is the campaign that you're in. So this folder is where the uh, images will be if you've put them in the campaigns uh, images folder and if we go back up to the top level uh, we can see data and that's where the images will be if you've put them into the images folder in the top level uh, of the fantasy grounds data directory so we'll use that uh, and perhaps our uh, uh, wizard here has cast the cloud skills cloud kill spell um, so we're just going to uh, drag this uh, directly into the map and just uh, drop it into the map. And we'll get rid of this and see what's happened. So you can see what immediately has happened is that the Fantasy Grounds has automatically switched this to the Layers menu. Uh, it's automatically created a layer and it's placed the image that we dragged in uh, on that layer. So of course it's gone in uh, too big, uh, so we need to adjust that. So we need to select the layer. Uh, and then we hold down shift and then drag one of these little white squares till we get it to the uh, right size, whatever it is, 40 feet I think. And then we can move this around and on top of 
uh, the monsters that the spell is going to be covering. Um, and if we have a look at the uh, player view, um, you can see that the players can't interact with that token in any way, so it's not going to, they're not going to be uh, accidentally moving it or anything like that. Um, so that uh, the, the, they can see the, the layer, they can see the, the effect, uh, where it's going and where it is and the size it is and everything like that, but they can't interact with it uh, in any way. Uh, it is important to realize that only the Dungeon Master can do this. The players have no control over tokens or images and they can't put things onto the map like this. Uh, so if we switch back to the uh, Dungeon Master's view, um, we can then simply uh, get back onto our battle map, click play, and then the Dungeon Master also doesn't uh, or isn't able to interfere with that token uh, in any way now that we are back in play mode. Uh, the Dungeon Master doesn't have any problem in accidentally moving the uh, item or whatever. Um, so this is, if, if this was a piece of furniture for example, then that would be on the map and everybody would see it um, and you can interact with it, etc. Um, now if um, the uh, Dungeon Master maybe for, for, for whatever reason doesn't actually want the players to see this, then you can go to the visibility uh, icon here and if we cycle through that, we can see that this uh, is now visible to GM only. And if we go back to the um, player screen, we can see that the players can no longer see the Cloud Kill spell. So this is something that you can use uh, in advance to add things uh, that the players might not be uh, able to see immediately. And you could also prepare your maps and have a couple of spells like this, or spell templates like this, uh, kind of down in one corner of the map, ready to just drag into place uh, if you wanted to, by uh, just simply hiding the uh, image and then revealing it uh, as necessary. Uh, once the spell is dissipated, we can uh, just click on the layer and delete it, or we could just make it invisible um, to the players, uh, just like we, we did a minute or so ago. Um, so that's one method uh, of uh, adding in your spell tokens. And so now let's go on and have a look at the second method. Um, so the second method starts off in the same way. We would open up the map and we would actually select the uh, layers mode. So if we're in play mode, we would actually select the layers mode. And then we want to uh, get our asset. Now this time we want a token. Previously we used an image. Um, if you had simply uh, dragged the token into the map uh, previously, then it wouldn't have created a layer. It would have just sat there on the map. Um, but now that we're in the layers menu, we can use tokens for the same thing. And we've got the same two uh, bags here, the campaign and the data, wherever you've placed your tokens. So we just need to open that. And let's say this time the wizard has decided to uh, cast Insect Plague. So what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, drag this and we're going to drop it into this little uh, icon up here. And this makes available this little uh, icon uh, above it, uh, which allows us to uh, tile or place the icon on the map. Uh, so all we need to do is make sure that that is selected and then just click on the map. And you can see again what's happened is that a layer has automatically been created and the um, uh, icon that we have used has uh, been placed on the map. Um, now, uh, if you... Um, aren't careful you can add another one um, so you need to uh, be careful of this that you don't click uh, too many times uh, once again once it's on the map then we will just uh, hold down the shift key and one of the corner tabs and we can uh, move it around and place it wherever uh, we need it uh, and again when we go to uh, play mode uh, the uh, little movement we can't we can't move or interact with that uh, and the uh, players are the same. They can see the icon, but they can't move it or interact with it in any way. Uh, and again, we can hide the layer if we want to. If we didn't want the uh, players to see the layer, um, we can uh, hide it and make it visible to the GM only, or we can make it uh, invisible to everybody uh, until we uh, need it. Um, so the summary then really is if you want to use uh, images uh, then you can just uh, select your image and you can 
uh, drag and drop the image into the map. If you want to use tokens, then make sure that your layers uh, menu is selected. Drag the uh, token that you want uh, into uh, here and then use the tile tool to uh, drop it onto the map. Um, so that's the two ways you can do that. I uh, hope that's useful and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers for now.